you want to see men God has helped look at our generation you want to see men of fire look at this generation you want to see men who have access to the eyes of the spirit look at this generation you want to see men of diligence and stamina and stature I have met men who prayed and fasted for 400 days non-stop I have met men who locked themselves no food no water in a room seven days dry you talk of stamina rich young ruler man of God I know you came here because you are trusting God for increase in your prayer group maybe you are starting and you are not evil you have come to honor the anointing to receive and you will receive but please hear me there are many people who are discouraged today they cannot sleep you ask them why they'll say I don't want to remain small it is not wrong but if we are not careful what happens then because the Bible says everyone who seeks finds this is a prophetic message to the body of Christ a time will come when the average member in the church in Nigeria will have revelation enough to become a general overseer the extent of light the internet has made light available and let me tell you there is an implication to having knowledge knowledge cries for expression by the time an usher is already prophesying like a geo by the time an usher can lay hands on the sick and lift people out of the wheelchair something will be crying in that usher for greater expression than just telling people come and sit down church in nigeria church in africa this is a prophetic end time message there is a generation that has finally gotten it right we've gotten it right by our commitment and our determination to master the principles of the spirit we have gotten it right in the place of prayer we have gotten it right in the place of fasting consecration finally a generation determined to be men of character finally a generation determined to be men of fire however let us come before the rabbi and he looks at us and says you have done well you have kept the law you have done everything you have vowed that you are going to do ministry with integrity business with integrity you have vowed that when you get to a political office there are men who have vowed that they will not touch one naira of government money and even when they had opportunity to be billionaires people insulted them and said you are stupid they truly did not touch one naira this is a special generation with a level of results like we have not seen but please hear me lest we have the audacity and the pride to look back and clap for ourselves before it is time the master still has a message for us tonight one thing thou lackest oh rich young ruler man of god oh rich young ruler politician Oh, rich young ruler breadwinner of your family. Oh, rich young ruler entrepreneur. Oh, rich young ruler father. Oh, rich young ruler mother. Oh, rich young ruler apostle and prophet and teacher. Your heart is the message the Holy Spirit is speaking right now. Somebody sent me a text and said, what kind of man are you? That you begin to speak and people are shouting and flying under the anointing let me tell you this because that person desires that realm he will press with hunger and one day everyone that seek it find it what is going to happen to the church when everybody understands prayer understands fasting understands the word of god you think what will happen is a revival but let me tell you to first start as a revival and then our heart condition will start causing trouble there will be jealousy in at a rate you have never seen there will be envy at a rate you have never seen prophet fighting prophet apostle fighting prophet bank fighting bank a tech giant fighting tech giant and before you will know it one something that was a beautiful move will now become an issue of camp 
an issue of individuals an issue of empire until another generation writes a book about us and says the incomplete generation where would i be if you left me now where would i be if you left me now where would i Is God speaking to someone? Hear me. The rich young ruler, in spite of his riches, in spite of his dominion over time through the mastery of the laws of life, in spite of the influence being a ruler, he was able to kneel down before Jesus. What greater expression of completeness? When you see Joshua Selman kneel down in spite of what God is doing, should you not conclude that this guy is flawless he has gotten it uh -uh. not before the master maybe before men maybe before nations maybe before kings but before the master he will look beyond your knees and look at your heart and he will see that in spite of the fact that you are sincere oh joshua selman let's do this hard thing who knows <laughs> The disciples followed Jesus with passion. You will look at the disciples and say, what zealous people. While they were following their hearts, were talking. I hope we are arriving somewhere that we are going to enjoy. One day, the disciples started getting angry because Jesus was teaching all of them. They were learning. Then he took Peter, James, and John. Is it not in your Bible? Up the Mount of Transfiguration. I'm sure the remaining disciples started grumbling and saying come oh, this jesus i don't understand what he's doing peter james and john the other way the other day we saw the mother of james and john remember but they said yes and now he has taken them up so we are the ones who are non-entities let's go and perform miracles and they went and saw somebody who was deaf and dumb instead of them to look for a general case that they look for something that hard deaf and dumb epileptic in fact that is the implication of light without room for expression one day time will come you will tell somebody raise offering or i mean pray for offering for two minutes the level of light in them is too much as soon as they stand they are seeing something and it will become a one hour conference it may not be that the person is insincere is that the level of revelation is so much a time will come it will no longer be preaching it will be discussion because as you are sharing it the person listening to you is also bringing another revelation that is the time when the state of our hearts will be revealed at a time when you no longer need to tell anybody yes sir because you too you are an authority in your own regard yes sir now can be a false sense of humility because we are forced to learn by reason of the absence of light and the obvious need to grow more Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a man of God here, please hear me. An apostle, a prophet, a, a pastor, a teacher. You're a man of God in the making. You're a businessman. You are one person who you know that destiny has held your hands. Please listen to what I'm telling you. The man speaking to you is not stupid. I may not know everything, but I can tell you I've worked with God a bit.